treat you better If I could just change my words like in a letter I did some things but I wasn't clear No, I did it wrong and you did it right Good morning, it is currently well, it doesn't even matter what day it is because I'm taking you into a day in my life and honestly, all the days are kind of the same, all the days are just like this, so pretend like it's, I mean, just choose any of the day of the week, like, except for Tuesday, because Tuesday is my day off. I woke up, I got dressed, I made some tea, I did my makeup, it's pretty much all I get to do in the morning because I, you know, kind of sleep in just because I get home so late and then I sleep so late, so, um, I don't know how, how do people film in the car, like, if you are a vlogger or if you vlog, what's your camera setup like in the car, because every time I start driving the camera starts shaking, so I'm just really confused about how people do that. I'm trying to kind of give you guys, like, a timeline of my day too, because it's a little bit weird compared to you know, normal, most people, I guess. I'm also wearing an excessive amount of pink today. Like, I'm wearing pink from head to toe. My dress is pink, my shoes are pink, my hair is pink, my coat's pink, and my bags are pink. So, I don't know. I kind of woke up feeling like, bleh, today. And whenever I feel like that, I just wear a lot of pink to make me feel a little bit better. I don't know if that's strange, but that's what I do. So Spotify did this playlist of your top songs in 2018, so we're gonna see what my top songs were. And now we're right here in this room. I get a little bit nervous around you, baby, when I think about you. Dun 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 dun. This is where I work. I've never shown you this before, so welcome. <laughs> That's what you said when you started the fight We came to an end, I put up this fence But do you really mean that this is the end? One, two, three years of silence Then four, five, six, still nothing When my hair gets green, I lose my shape Alright, so after I set up the dining room and it kind of helped set up the kitchen a little bit I kind of sit here and wait for people to get here because I usually get here really early just to get some of my work done. And basically, I mean, this is really freaking boring, but I have to do um, sales tax, I have to check our bank account, make sure everything's okay, and then I have to pay some bills, write some checks. And that's pretty much all I do like in the morning until you know we start to open and then I move into the kitchen or um, start to serve. It just depends on the day and what employees come on that day. So yeah, that's basically it for the morning. So I'm just gonna, you know, continue to do my little work here. Fried rice and chilies. Best thing about restaurant life. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the car. I basically worked from 10 to 3, so it's 3 o'clock right now. And then we take a little break and get prepared for dinner. And I mean, break very loosely because um, usually you have to go get groceries for the restaurant during break so basically still working um every like day of the week is a different place so today i'm going to like the big restaurant warehouse thing that they have here and it's not gonna be that exciting i'm telling you guys like my life is very very boring on work day so that's why i never turn on the camera but just wanted you guys to see anyway and you know get to know me a little bit better kind of sneak peek into my actual life because I'm not a blogger. I mean, I like to do it 
um, you know, on the side and in my free time. But for the most part, this is my job. This is what I do. I mean, it's not for the most part. It's for the entire part of my job. In my plan, just you. In my there, in yours too. In my plan, just you. Just you. I did it wrong and you did it right yeah, That's what you said when you started the fight We came to an end that put up this fence But do you really mean that this is Now we're on stop two of today's grocery trip now and as you can see I went to three places today to get groceries which usually never happens I usually only go to one maximum two but it was a crazy day so I have about 30 minutes until my dinner shift starts I'm just gonna take this time to relax and calm my mind a little bit and also I think I'm gonna like um kind of work on editing and stuff like that too if I have enough time I'll usually go home and let eBay out but obviously I don't have time today so yep that's just what we're doing and then I work another five hours and then I get off. <laughs> yep, this is my life. <laughs> this vlog with a little nice like nighttime routine take off my makeup kind of thing I just got home from work it's almost 11 o'clock and I work 12 hour days so my makeup literally stays on my face for like 12 13 hours depending on when I actually get up and do my makeup so this is like the most relaxing part of my day because I just want my makeup to be gone <laughs> so I just washed my hands and I'm gonna take my contacts out and actually the first thing that I do is actually use this Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. This is like my favorite way to take off my makeup because it is so nice and smooth. And I don't feel like I'm rubbing my skin too much. When you open the container up, it just comes in a balm like this. And I just scoop a little bit up with my finger. So maybe about that much. And then what I'll do is like kind of wet my face a little bit. And then just rub the balm all over my face. I just love the way that it feels because I feel like makeup wipes are a little bit too harsh and even when I use like a cotton pad and like makeup remover, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little too harsh for my skin so I really really love this balm and then I'll rinse my face off and then I'll just take a regular washcloth and wipe my face and here I'm just using like a regular washcloth that I actually just reuse because I don't like using cotton pads or anything that you can throw away just because I think this is like a little bit more sustainable I guess I don't know I just feel like it's a waste of money for all that stuff so I literally just use this to you know wipe off my makeup a couple of times and then I wash it so I mean it works fine and then because I'm super super paranoid about like makeup residue and stuff I actually use another cleanser and um, the one that I have right here is just a micellar foaming cleanser just to make sure I get all of my makeup off <laughs> Alright, so this is actually my next step because I've actually been getting a little bit of acne like on my forehead and on the sides of my face. So I've been using this. This is the Peter Thompson Roth Acne Clearing Gel. And I just, you know, pump a little bit, not too much, and just kind of like put it on the spots that I've been getting acne. Next I'll apply my eye cream. Currently I'm using the 111 or 111 Skin Harley Street London Space Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel. So I actually just ran out of the old eye cream I was using. That one was from Philosophy, so I thought I'd give this one a try. This is actually from an Ipsy bag that I received not too long ago, so I don't know. So far, I mean, I've been liking it. I mean, I haven't noticed, you know, any improvements or any differences really because I've been only using it for a couple days, but so far so good. I'll just, you know, tap that under my eyes, obviously. And then the last thing I'll use is a moisturizer. The moisturizer I'm using right now is the Clinique Moisture Surge. And I've really, really been loving this because my skin has been so freaking dry because of the Colorado frigid cold weather. So, yeah, I just really like this one because it's super, super, super moisturizing. And, yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, my skin just feels happy after I use this. Alright, so that was my basic night routine. I hope that you enjoyed it. I mean, it's not that interesting, but 
it's just what I do. I'm not really a skincare like fanatic or anything, so I don't really know too much about skincare. So if you have any products to recommend or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to take a look, you know, at a few more products. All right, that was it for my work vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is literally one of my most requested videos. I think people are just like curious about what I do and how I like, you know, make money and stuff. So it's totally understandable. Sorry if you hear some noises, it's my dog. He's actually right there. He's just roaming around right now, so. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to end this video like talking about a couple of things. I was really, really nervous to even upload this video because I, I don't know, I just feel self-conscious about it. I just, I feel like my work life is vastly different from a lot of people's, so I don't know, but for whatever reason, I was just really, really nervous about this video. But I am glad that I'm sharing this part of my life with you guys, and I just want to be really real and honest and talk to you guys about something that I've previously talked to you a little bit about on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, please do. Um, I basically had this post where I was talking about like real life and I think I was feeling like really stressed out that day, but I was basically saying that my New Year's resolution or one of my New Year's resolutions is to stop comparing my life to others. And what I mean by that is like, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I like see somebody on Instagram who's like really successful or like has a lot of things that I want or just general things like that, I start comparing myself to them a little bit and I start like self-doubting and I start, I don't know, just wishing my life was different than the way that it is. And it's crazy because when I stop to think about it, I actually really, really enjoy my life. I love my life. I love like the things that I have. I love, you know, my boyfriend. I just love everything about my life. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean? I'm generally really, really happy. However, sometimes I do forget that I am satisfied with my life and I start comparing myself to others and I wish, you know, that I was this. I wish I was that. I wish I was rich. I wish I had a different, you know, lifestyle, etc. But I'm sure everyone goes through that every once in a while. And what sparked that on my Instagram is that recently, you know, a couple of people have been saying that they are like jealous of me or they wish that they could afford the things that I do and, you know, kind of things like that. And when I get those messages, I'm just kind of not disheartened because I totally understand where it's coming from, but it's so hard to say that because, you know, you don't know what goes on in a person's life. Like, yes, I do love my life, but I work really, really hard. Not saying that nobody works as hard as me. I know everybody works really hard in their lives, but I have personally like had to sacrifice a lot of things. For example, because I work every single day, 12 hours a day, and I only have one single day off, I don't get to see very many of my friends because that day off is also on a Tuesday. It's not on a weekend where most people have their days off. I like literally only see my friends when they come visit me at the restaurant. And it was really, really hard the first couple of years that I was doing this because I just didn't understand that I had to make that sacrifice in order to make this work. And it just made me so upset. Like I would literally like cry all the time. And like, I had that like feeling of like missing out literally all the time. And even though I still do have that, you know, every once in a while here and there, I have come to realize that this is just part of my life now. And I've also come to accept it so it doesn't make me as sad but it still does make me sad when I like you know can't go to people's birthday parties can't go out to dinners just because I am working during those hours so I don't know it's like a give and take and I feel like a lot of people don't realize that every person's life has their like you know trials people have gone through their own tribulations and it's just I don't know I think it's a good thing to Kind of think about every once in a while that you know every person's life is different and even though you wish you had that person's life or you wish you had this person's life you know they have like struggles and hardships in their lives too and i'm totally not trying to like pity myself or anything like that either i i don't know i'm just can you guys see where i'm coming from i'm trying to be genuine and i really don't you know want to like pity myself in any way um it's just you know the fact of my life and the fact of you know my lifestyle so yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of talk about that a little bit and mention that. And I think it's just kind of like a really important thing to think about every once in a while, you know, to not compare yourself to others and to just realize that everybody has different lives that you may or may not know of. You know, a person's life may look perfect on Instagram, but it's probably not that way in real life. So I, I don't know, I just think it's really important to kind of talk about that and remember these things. So 
yeah, that's kind of how I wanted to end this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you liked seeing a day in my life. <laughs> so if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below like what you think of this. Like, do you compare yourself to others? Are you trying to improve on this? Or, you know, just leave me your thoughts in general about this topic. I would love to hear it. And as always, if you liked this video and if you liked me, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do upload videos every single week. And thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Ewe has literally been here the entire video. Like, how hilarious is that? What are you doing, Pud?